All right, here we go. It's Atto versus Evo in another international show match in the run-up to Worlds. Atto and, of course, the rest of his KC teammates are here in North America as we've gotten them in a few different show matches. And today, we're going to test Atto against the strength of Evo. Evo has been grinding ones recently. He has not only been one of the top 1v1ers in North America when everyone was sweating ones around the time of Salt Mine 3, but... He seems to be back in form, as I think at least a few people have been trying to get into form uh, in preparation for the Champions Road 1v1, the big 1v1 tournament that is Psyonix sponsored this weekend. And Evo comes in it as the number one seed. So your number one seed from North America, how will he do against the likes of EU's? Probably would be a, a top five seed. I think Atto is highly rated in ones if he were to be playing. Uh, but he's not playing. So... How will he do against Evo? Everyone was, of course, hoping that the EU players would just play in the North American version of the tournament, but that's not how it ended up. Essentially, no Worlds players in the Champions Road 1v1. As Evo going to back off. Ooh, a fake, fake challenge. <laughs> if you watch Evo's movements there as he headed towards the ball, he made it seem like he was fake challenging only to then turn back on the ball and was able to steal it away. Atto on zero, gonna reset in the back corner and actually go to the ceiling to discourage Evo from going for a wall to air dribble and he just completely froze him there. Certainly not what Evo is gonna wanna do in the future, but Atto denying the air dribble long before it ever could have even started. And the next thing you know, Evo is trying to make something work out of a bouncing ball, which is not easy to do. And I'm sure if you've watched the stream a ton, you've heard me talk about how players can't get away with it. When players try and do it, you know, on the sidewall with a little bit less ceiling pressure, you know, they just decide they don't want to take it for some reason. I always let them know. The ones meta has moved past that. You can't do that anymore. Can't get away with it. Uh, in this case, Atto forced Evo to do it. He made Evo think that that was the better idea. And I think Atto proved it probably was not. Or at least Evo needs to be much more careful in the ensuing plays after Atto off his own back wall a really heavy first touch as Evo was defending from near his net so he wanted to get the ball moving and force that late recovery maybe get an awkward angle on a save but credit to Evo he does make the save and he will deny this follow-up shot as well can Evo get past Atto's defense so far he hasn't been able to and this time he transitions the reset to the ground. Atto reads that, doubles off the ceiling. Looks like maybe he was going for a triple touch off the ceiling. Because if he had gotten one more touch into the ceiling, he might have been able to keep that dribble going. But because it floated directly under it, it did fall out of his control. Now Atto, the double that only he really likes to do in ones. Evo somehow makes the save. But I'm less surprised about the save and more how he survived that bump attempt from Atto who, from what I could tell, was going max speed into the corner. And Evo somehow barely even gets moved by it. Evo, high pop, fake jump like he's going back to the ball because he wants Atto to stay shadowed. He doesn't want him to turn back and steal the ball away. Now, Turning and diving on this one. Atto is actually so worried about Evo taking it away. He turned early and didn't pick up the 100, but he'll get it now. As Evo goes into an air dribble bump attempt that he cannot quite connect with Atto on. So Atto's defense proving to be what might get him this win in game number one, which is not normally what he relies on. And that is a pretty brutal own goal from Evo because I think if he leaves this, I, I can't imagine Atto is going to be able to find a way back to this ball. He gets out ahead of it. And I guess as soon as he sees Evo go, <laughs> I think Evo could just fake it. You can just fake own goal and it goes out perfectly. I do think he needs to come back and make it look like he's going to do something. But as long as he just fake own goals instead of actually own goals, he would have been in good shape. 3-0. It's hard to keep somebody completely scoreless through full five minutes. Evo can't get the dunk and actually didn't get the best recovery. And Atto is the kind of guy to punish you for everything but perfection, but Evo manages to get back and make a save. Reset shots. Oh, Atto missing wide. Allowing Evo a chance still here in game number one. 
But it's not often you can completely shut somebody out. A bump is going to be a goal. And it's 4-0 for Atto. As Evo is going to drop a next. So we will not get to find out whether or not Atto would have shut him out in a full five minutes. Because Evo is not going to wait that long. Game one goes to Atto. The perfect sweep in a 1v1. Still alive. Game number two. Atto and Evo. Evo needs some sort of offense. And after the forfeit, he's going to instantly score. It takes him seven seconds after getting completely shut out in the first game. And oftentimes, kickoffs can't do that for you. Because the thing about the fact that he got shut out is that he didn't have that many kickoffs. Atto was up 2-0, it felt like, for a big chunk of the game. And only late added a couple more goals. In fact, Evo didn't even get the fourth kickoff chance. Or I guess it would be the fifth kickoff chance after the fourth goal. Because he forfeited before going to it. So a little bit more volatility this game is likely, assuming we see more than a couple goals. As Evo going to go the distance, use all his boosts, so a bit of an all-in play. But the 50 is good enough. It's off the post and stays around Atto's half and out of Atto's control. What a counter from Atto. Gets the demo, and it even takes a moment to control the ball. It has to go the whole length of the field, but... Just puts it top right. Evo, by the way, got a slight earlier read than he normally does on that respawn. In fact, maybe I should have stayed on his POV. I assume spectator POV will show the same thing as well. If we stay on Evo's POV, it'll like slide back. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Epic has recently changed the game for the better for the first time since they did it to the nameplates. And before that, the first time in years, which is... After a couple moments, after getting demoed, your camera slides to the position that your car is about to spawn in. Uh, so it's just a little bit less jarring to get demoed. And there was even some talk about whether or not it was going to change the game heavily, other than the bug that it introduced as Atos get a pogo for fun for the fans after getting Evo to miss, pulling off the air dribble. But other than the bug, which is related to overtime respawning in the wrong location, um, it does seem to be just purely better because even after you get, de get demoed, it's not like it instantly pulls you to where you're going to respawn. It uh, actually freezes your camera just like it used to for, you know, two seconds. And then for one second, pulls you back to the spot. Um, so yeah, just purely better in every way, which I would say is exactly what the nameplate boost change did. Just better in every way. So whoever's out there making the decisions right now, I like him. Atto going to go to a low 50 and actually going to stop it on the goal line, which seems a bit risky. Evo is still around. Evo recognizing he's probably not going to get that. Midfield 100, but not worrying about it too much. Went for a demo and a boost steal. Got one of those things. So now he tries to turn back on the ball. Yeah, a 10 boost play with the ball in the corner. Not much you could do. He decides it's going to be Atos' possession. Goes underneath the bump. And no respawn for him in time. Long shot as Atos turns in field. Can't get back. What a shot from Evo. Evo with a little bit of boost he had left over. This was his best option either way, whether Atto turned in or not. But a pretty impressive long shot from Evo. And he has turned it around here in game number two. Far from getting completely shut out, he has himself a tie game as we approach halftime. Atto off the ceiling, the catch. Evo hasn't had the most success on these challenges. This time, it's going to go as good as possible. Stealing it right off the top of Atto's car. Evo. The miss here. I think he's maybe expecting Atto. Uh, no, I, I don't even know what to say. 
think he just meant to touch the ball. And didn't. And so what camera work as he passes to himself off the ceiling. Pulling the camera down. These guys actually are some of the more active camera users in the game. Or, or I should say unique because Atto is arguably not active because he just keeps ball cam on more so than his counterparts. So in a way that's, you know, inactive camera movements. Evo has been known for a long time when you watch from his POV being very willing to just move the right stick, take looks around in, in positions that other players probably, you know, don't think it's worth the risk. I think you slightly throw yourself off if you mess with the camera too much. So players use it sparingly. Eva doesn't seem to have that. As he will use it almost all the time. Doesn't seem to be bothered at all by his camera flying around. And now we'll be able to counterattack as this one will roll slowly into the bottom left, undercutting Atto to guarantee his goal. Atto, you can't be doing that. Going all the way into the corner right before the boost and then turning back. Atto, single jump pop, will use the ground pinch to beat Evo. As Evo kind of dropped a nice shot for that one. You don't think he moved his camera on purpose? A couple different people said that. Atto, he held it. He held it as he was air dribbling. I don't know. Atto moves his camera a lot. Usually when you make a mistake like that, it'll just snap. But I felt like Atto kind of held it down for a second. Also, not one to make a mistake like that too often. Is a pro player. Evo kick off and a two goal lead and almost able to win this 50 try to corral the ball and score quickly As both these two are very jumpy getting ahead of themselves at times Evo surprised he used to flip into that ball with the angle of the air dribble sent directly down the side wall not a lot you could do after that ball gets to that position so if your first touch is off by that larger margin usually you just take the ball back down Evo just committed to it but 20 seconds left to go a huge jump off his own back wall we'll clear it into Atto's box he's gonna try and go to length the field and I think Evo has done it it's not guaranteed just yet but he's doing a good job of staying active on the goal line and the psycho attempt to end the game will not be successful. So Evo, a huge bounce back from a game in which he didn't score a single time. He'll put up seven in a game two win against Atto. Game three. Mirrored wave dash kickoffs to open us up on decalless Fenix using what feels like the most common color for both blue and orange team. Atto going to pop off to open this one as the kickoff possession leads to him having full boost in the back corner. And he'll drop a reset musty in for the 1-0 lead. Atto a follow-up kickoff goal Able to force this into Evo's half, and Evo can't really leave the play there. Has to stick around, try and get some sort of favorable 50 they can then work from. But the 50 was not favorable. And Atto just needs one more touch for the goal. He knows Evo's about to back off here on low boost. So he doesn't panic too much on this save. Has control now, and actually they both backflipped into the ball. Atto sends it up, and Evo sends it up even higher. Did that go all the way to the ceiling? That was just a double backflip flick. Evo not going to have a chance on that setup off the back wall. Now a bit of space. 
Atto has been so active and discouraging Evo from air dribbles. Whether that's going to the ceiling or pre-jumping everything that he suspects might be one. There's Evo using some of that camera movement that I talked about. Checking to see what Atto is up to as he chases him down for a demo. Hits the brakes, makes sure to avoid it. Deciding there is no good chance to turn in and instead he'll back off in shadow, but that proves to be the wrong decision. Although I'm not sure if it's necessarily the wrong decision. Might've been better than trying to turn in, but both of them are gonna give the worst result, which is a goal for Atto. Half flip kickoff. Evo could not get underneath the ball and get the height it needed to score that like it seemed like he was trying to do. Every time he picks up boost, he has to keep using it to get right back to the ball. And he's going to surprise Atto with an early challenge. Evo on the board. Atto, a slow setup on the side wall. He's not going to get away with it. Evo was prepared for... An even heavier touch from Atto. As you can see him going up over the top of the ball. Now Evo off the side wall. A couple touches. And a second goal. Evo not going to go for a boost deal. I think recognized that... He needed to get back to Atto. That was more important. But even then, doesn't matter. Still going to be a goal for the Belgian. Wave dash kickoff. We'll make it a three goal lead. But, you know, unlike that first game. As long as goals are going in and you get to reset back to a kickoff with three minutes on the clock, shouldn't feel too bad about a three goal deficit. Volatility is still going to be there. Atto going for the bump. Evo actually looked like he got a touch on the ball, but not enough to make the save was threatening the air roll shot, instead flew around the ball and then flipped to protect it. Not your conventional bump play, but it's gonna work just as well. Atto half flipping off the kickoff, Evo can see that right away. And nice outplay this time around. Did not try and chip the ball up and go over the top. Recognized that his low boost meant he had to make a ground play and a couple different fakes gets Atto moving in net. And once he's got him in the air, Flips the ball out behind him. Sidewall dribble from Atto. Pogo shot attempt. Evo sees it coming. Eats it up. And gets a goal. It seemed like Atto saw Evo going high on the back wall. Decided to transition back down. And as Evo got there, thought maybe I could pogo it to... Put height back on the ball, get Evo to miss. The idea, while possible, did not work out. Evo challenged really high and made sure to make sure the ball was not popping over the top of him. Looking for a zero boost shot to open this possession. Taking Atto's back corner. Atto kind of got ahead of himself. Lost control of the ball. This is a nice air roll shot from Evo. He needed a ton of sideways movement and he goes out and gets it by getting up around the ball, almost in front of the ball, in order to make sure he gets the angle. Evo unable to win the race for the boost, so instead we'll just pop the ball up to try and give as tough of a setup for Atto as possible for his possession. And I think that 
That's exactly what it proved to be. Not easy to play a ball from the ceiling heights in that position. Now he's forced that toe back. Now with a minute 20 left to go though, it does have to be a little bit more proactive. Cannot just let the game come to him because Atto could slow it down and waste the rest of the time. Hogo shot gets saved. Possession still in Atto's favor. And he is going to wait a little bit longer. Play it off the bounce. Ceiling heights. Reset double. Back wall. Evo denies it again. He has had such good reads on those. That is not easy to make the right save. And not only that, but control the ball and turn it in for a goal. And I've seen Atto score those on many defenders. But he is not having success against Evo, who is punishing them like you'd expect they should be. You know, like how every other non-Atto backboard double does get punished in ones. He's just been so good at it that he's been able to get away with it. 40 seconds. Atto lost the ball here. So Evo's going to start a dribble from the back corner. Has a late recovering Atto. Can he punish him? He will! Evo with 30 seconds left to go. Dances across the length of the field and gets wide around the ball. Atto thought about an early challenge or a fake early. And that ends up resulting in him maybe reacting a bit late to the eventual shot. Delayed kick out from Atto. He wants to make sure he has possession to end the game, but it's actually gone in Evo's favor as he goes to steal the back corner boost. It's quickly back on the ball. 50. It's going to drop into Atto's corner. First touch is heavy. Has to use a flip to get back to it and just air dribbles at top shelf. Evo, not the best hit ever. I think a little frustration camera toggle there. He knows he just gave over the ball to end the game. And Atto is going to go up for an air dribble. Seemed to try and read Evo's clear. It seemed like he knew Evo was putting it off the backboard and tried to just read the touch and get a double anyways. But ends up going too high. And it'll be overtime in game number three. A pivotal game three. And this should just be a goal for Atto. Didn't really get to watch it from Evo's perspective or what he was hoping to get here. But he just puts it right out to Atto. I mean, I think I'd need a couple more seconds to maybe get an idea of what Evo was expecting out of Atto and why that, that one would have worked out. But game number three, going to the Belgian. Game four. Atto... Just barely able to sneak an edge out in game three. But certainly been a close match outside of maybe game one, <laughs> in which that was all Atto. But if Evo can sneak out a couple close game wins, he can walk away. The winner of the best of five for now, Atto on game points or match points. Interesting touch from Atto. It may not look like it does a lot, but Evo is prepping with 13 boost to get the exact right touch on the back wall. And even just changing the trajectory in any way means Evo's now kind of realign to make a play, and it leads to that eventual awkward non clear that allows Atto to score. Now, kickoff in Atto's favor. Two straight, and he's up 2 1. Evo out of the back corner. Heavy touch during the air dribble. Put the ball too far out ahead of him. Makes it a bit too easy to read. Takes away too many of his options. Atto actually gets out ahead of the ball and slows it down. But puts the ball wide of the net. He's going to have to reset here. And he actually did it all so quickly that there's no boost waiting for him. Demo on to Evo, though. Evo, who saw Atto waiting at the midfield for the 100. Thought he'd have a good chance to go in, get a demo, break up the play. It didn't work out that way. Atto played good keep away and actually was the one to get a demo himself. Evo, definitely not what you want to do is get inches within the midfield 100, but he still might be able to score. So he tries to muscle the low 50. Aggressive challenge from Evo. 
Looks like it will pay off. Atto wanted the sidewall bump. Evo dodged it. Wave dash kickoff for Atto does not work out. Evo doesn't give up on the race to the boost. Is able to steal it and get back to close the window that looked like it opened there for a second. As Evo overprioritized. Oh, can he play off of this pool shot? He has a double read, but so does Atto. So no clip today. Although almost able to score on the follow-up. Atto a very careful save off the post into a half flip. If he didn't get undercut. Might have even been able to turn it into a goal, but he did get undercut, so Evo will tie it up 3-3. Atto wave dashing in too deep without making a play on the ball. Delay kickoff from Evo, I think the first of which we've seen from him. And he's going to get another pool shot, but this time it's on the ground, and it gives great acceleration to Evo. Atto just launches him forward with a wave dash on the top of his own wave dash, which just double wave dashes him out to the ball. Next thing you know, we're going to see teams using that in 2v2 or in 3v3. You need somebody to recover, double wave dash, launch him back with speed. Pros will find a way, I, I trust. Atto trying to double into that top right corner. Evo has done a really good job, though, of not allowing any of those doubles through. This time, Atto going to go for a bump instead of a double, and that'll work out better. 4-4. Four, four. Evo... Reacting late, cannot get to the ball. T. Connors, thank you for the brand new prime. Evo has yet to call the bluff on these kickoffs. I think, you know, best case scenario, you get used to them, you, you predict them, and you stop boosting almost immediately or not even at all. Tough to do, do in practice, but I've seen it done before. Certainly to a better level than Evo is because he is showing up at the ball with. Essentially zero boost left over. Nice steal. Goal for Evo. As Atto resets on 100 and thinks that this pop-up from Evo is a setup for him. But it's so much faster to boost up that side wall. Evo uses that to his advantage. A double delayed wave dash kickoff. Both of them slowing down as they get to the ball. An attempt to try and guide the ball away like you could do just with a regular delay. Have it hit into you and then tap it off to the side. Uh, both of them are trying to do that and then dash off to the ball. But it doesn't really work out when both of them delay because then they end up 50-ing instead of getting the ball hit into them. Evo. What a pop! Can he get the double? No. He's up one with a minute 15 left to go. Doesn't necessarily need goals. What he does need is to stay in control of the play, not go all in. To extend it at the cost of letting Atto equalize for free as he chips a booming clear back to his half and now a back wall pinch one that he cannot follow up Atto cleanly carries it and look at this shot from Atto to tie the game Evo thought he was putting this out of playable reach but Atto easily gets to the side wall power slides up and gets the perfect first touch that leads to the reset flick. Delay kickoff, Evo! So close to getting it directly on target. We've seen that at least once before. Evo trying to get the first touch reset double. Doesn't work. And cannot stay on the ball. Will survive though and actually got that respawn. So Atto has nothing left over. Perfect timing for Evo. And he's going to take it to the air. Atto actually pre-jumped it but went back down to the ground. So Evo... Called the bluff, I think, that Atto expected Evo to give up on his air dribble. When he pre-jumped, Evo did not. He just stuck with it. And actually, you know, even if Atto had chased down the ball, he might have gotten beat by that pop from Evo. Little camera check. 
to see if he's getting delayed. He is indeed getting delayed and seemed to make the right reaction. Evo recovers, though, for the goal line save. 14 seconds. That's got to be a fake. You can't imagine Evo's going to die with 14 seconds left to go. But the fake works out all the same. Atto needs to chip this up. That's not a great ball to work with. And he's off the map. So Evo has won if he wants to win. But if he wants to make it spicy, he could bring the ball out to midfield and allow Atto to catch it. But no, it'll hit the ground now. And it'll be game five in Atto versus Evo. Game five. Atto versus Evo. Down to the wire in the US versus Belgium. A nice international 1v1 courtesy of the World Championships here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Evo going to try and open up the scoring. Atto looked like he was transitioning down to the ground right as Evo shot. And yet he still made his way back up. He made the save, but that is not going to be it. Evo will score on the follow-up. Atto out to the midfield boost. Evo faked like he was cutting the ball in field there for a second. Maybe Atto preparing to stop that. And then only afterwards turned on the ball, took the shot, and gets the goal. Evo, that seems to be a bit of a mistake, right? Using your last bit of boost to tap the ball away. Give it to Atto. Let him go the length of the field. And if Evo had saved that one, I would have had to absolutely pop off. Because he's done a decent job saving these doubles so far. But this one truly feels unsavable. Man, he was pretty close. Credit to Atto for doing what he does best. Hasn't been able to do it as well against Evo. But that double off the backboard is a great way to punish on counterattacks because you can keep the speed of the ball so high when you can just boom it as hard as you want anywhere on the backboard and then double it in. Evo lobbing the ball up. Faking as if he's going to go make a play again. Atto is out of boost and Evo knows it, so he's not worried about intercepting this one. They have been very chaotic fighting for possession in the midfield. Nice fake from Atto. Evo setting up pointed towards that right post from Atto's perspective. He makes it seem like he might cut it back in. Evo has to hit the brakes and then he eventually takes it to that bottom right corner. Another possession for Atto. Quickly into an air dribble. As soon as he's got nobody on him, Evo will pinch it off the crossbar. Has to dodge the demo. Does not grab the boost. Atto gets faked out, though. Still, Evo feels the need to leave with a slow rolling ball, zero boost. Not a ton you can do, especially when it's not already rolling on target. Maybe you could get some kind of low 50, but not from that one. As Evo... Forced into his net again. Dies in the process of clearing this one. Should be able to respawn before any shot comes. Atto seems to want to delay and wait for Evo on the first swing pass. And then go for the bump. But Evo fights through the contact. Makes the save and is going to try and go right back the other way. Didn't seem to be as committed to bumping on this play though. Never boosted towards Atto. Just... Landed back down on the ground. Heavy touch in the corner. Maybe as a way to try and counter what he thought was going to be Atto closing the distance and playing too close in the corner. But Atto did back off. Now Evo. A save. A low 50. It gets sent screaming into the post. Evo does not have enough boost to get back to it. It's all just a charade to try and slow Atto down. And it works out. Evo gets to the goal line and makes yet another save. Right now he is down though, he needs some offense. A big dive. One that surprises Atto. Now to the ceiling and to the back wall. That's not going to be doubleable. So they quickly work to recover. 
Not the best challenge from Evo in the corner, and the ball is rolling slow enough for Atto to get around it. Evo getting really far around the ball. Essentially saying, I do not expect to be 50-ing this. I expect to get a clean touch around the defender. It was not really close to that at all. Atto will punish Evo for the miss here after the kickoff. Threatening. A fake, you could even argue, even though Atto isn't really that close to the ball. He's just showing, look, I will take this shot if you don't jump. And as soon as he does... Just waiting to see if you'll miss. Evo looking for what has been sometimes coined the Evo flick. The pre-flip flick to pop. Doesn't work out. And this was a really important kickoff. Atto going for that double. He is starting to score it now. And Evo is even dropping the nice shot. Earlier in the series, Evo was making this save. And I don't know how because it's really tough to make this save. But having a tough time when he has to defend it from basically underneath the ball. I think the couple times he's been able to save him, he's been a little bit more back in time, able to attack them slightly sideways, not just have to fall into the net like he did there. 5-1. And another kickoff that isn't immediately in control by Evo means it's probably over, although Atto gave him a chance here, and he will score. Again, every kickoff needs to be Evo's now with 43 seconds left to go. Atto has loved both half-flipping off the kickoff, which is what he's going to do here, as well as delaying, which are great ways to mitigate getting three consecutive kickoff goals scored on you. And he actually doesn't even need to take this air dribble. If he was really going to back off that far, he probably could have played it a bit slower, but he believes in his ability to play keep away. And maybe he was wrong. Because he is not able to keep Evo away. Evo undercuts and then demos him. And now at 24 seconds, there's still more than enough time. Atto. Half flips this one away. Pinch is on target. Atto is going to ice the game out with a sidewall pinch. Evo needed to score every goal from here on out. And even though it didn't seem like Atto was going to be able to score quickly with everybody in the map on zero boost, he just squeezes it off the sidewall for a speedy shot into the net and a series win? Wait, maybe not! Maybe not! This delay kickoff has been beaten this way a few times and Evo just sends it slightly off center to the opposite side of where Atto was delaying. Now 13 seconds left to go. Certainly, Atto doesn't delay again. So Evo actually decides to counter by delaying himself. Needs to find a way to 50 this in, and he can't. If he had 50 that in, he'd have one more chance for a kickoff. Didn't work out. Atto is going to win this one. A close one, though. And a nice bounce back from the way the series started. It goes the distance with Atto on top.